being Jewish, you get asked this question a lot. Where do you stand on the Israel-Palestine situation? Where do you stand? And I always say, oh my God, I stand over there, far away from this conversation. Now, please continue my smear test. So my name is Katie Price, but unlike celebrity Katie Price, I am openly um, gay and Jewish. Or you could say Shabbat's for the other team. I look like this because my mum is Jewish and my dad is Nicolas Cage. Some of you don't see it? Okay, what about now? Hello, I'm Gal Gadot, actor and model and actor. There's nothing I like more than going to the market and getting stuck into a good old haggle. Do I need to haggle? No, I am Gal Gadot. I own a lot of real estate. But if I do not haggle, I will be seen as a bad Jew by my own people. It's weird to be a non-religious Jew because sometimes you get discovered as a Jew then you're a sneaky Jew. Jews use food to deal with anger and sadness and happiness. Here you see some lakshan pudding. It is a pasta dish that is actually sweet. Sugary pasta. Oh, it's like having type 2 diabetes, but in Italy. I did eat pork recently. Yeah, my mum said I shouldn't have eaten it. I was like, I know, it's because I'm Jewish. She was like, no, it's because you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen any anti-Semitism that's so shocking you don't really actually know what to do with yourself? Like someone once said to me, you're not Jewish, you don't have a Jewish nose. And it reminded me of the time someone said to me, your girlfriend's got great tits. And I said, that's my sister. When you fast, exactly how furious does it make you? I don't get it. So I'm a Jewish lesbian or a Jesbian. It's a weird time to be a Jewish lesbian because anti-Semitism and homophobia are increasing. And I feel like being a Jewish lesbian is like being Yoko Ono in that everyone hates you but they don't know why. Will you be doing a version of I Am The Walrus to further raise global morale? <laughs> goo 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 Jew! I slept with a man recently and afterwards he told me I was his first Jew, which was very weird to me because I hadn't told him I was Jewish. And I thought the whole thing was very strange because I thought it was an unfinished sentence. It was like, the first Jew you what? Ever let live after sex? To be honest, I'm suspicious either way. I may be the first entry, but it still sounds like a list. My mum didn't want me to become a classic Jewish girl, so she sent me to a Catholic primary school. And the head teacher said to me, you still have to sing all of the hymns, but you can just miss out the word Jesus. That's like a Pitbull song without the word bitch. It seems like you can do a lot of things. Of all the things you can do, which thing can you do the most? Oh, that's easy. No. So we went to Amsterdam as a teenager. Shrooming? No. We were on our way to Anne Frank's house. We got a bit lost, so we asked the passerby, excuse me, do you know where Anne Frank's house is? And this 95-year-old lady looked me dead in the eyes and said, Anne Frank, lived all my life, never heard of her. So there are two options here with this lady. Mm. Holocaust denier. Yep. Or she is Anne Frank. No. You ever seen the Nazi section in Waterstones? With a new book every day. I was Hitler's doorman. I drove Hitler. Hitler at home. Hitler and Stalin are kind of like the Biggie and Tupac of genocide. Uh, always dropping new stuff. I did a gig to Nazis recently. I don't know if they were Nazis, but they didn't like me, so they must have been. I find it quite weird how Nazis have been fully appropriated by popular culture. I guess violence in video games is exciting. That's probably why you'd never have one called Call of Duty Modern Kindness, uh, where you help a friend move house. And the final boss is a baby that takes 18 years to complete. It needs work. I sometimes wonder if Hitler was, you know, like that because he spent his childhood having to fight off loads of time-travelling Jews. <laughs> There's a film in that. I'm circumcised. Big up all the cut lads watching. Uh, circumcision is a strange one. Hygiene, valid reason for the snip, of course, but someone should tell these rabbis about the technological advancements we have since made in the field of shower gel. All right, a little bit of Lynx Africa could have saved me a medical procedure. People always ask me, why don't you do more jokes about circumcision? I just think it's too sensitive. <laughs> I, I actually have a joke about foreskin, but we have no more time left, so um, I'm going to have to cut it. 